Just look at it out there. Look how hideous it is. Isn't it disgusting? Do you guys have any idea what I'm talking about? Probably not. Cold out there. <laughs> really cold. And before some of you jump on me for this, I know you will, so don't. It's 28 degrees. And you're like, that's not cold. Okay, listen. For here, that's cold. It's also not the coldest it is, or has been, I guess, today. Um, there's some other areas uh, in the area that are experiencing colder uh, temperatures. Even with wind chill, it's down to like 10, 12, something like that. So that's cold. That's really cold. You have to understand that for here, for Myrtle Beach, that's like absurdly cold. Um, but that's okay, because I'm not going outside. Although I might go outside later. But I'll talk about that in a sec. First off, hello everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, Mal went to school again today, so things are going good. Uh, I'm feeling under the weather, which I know sounds weird, but I actually think I feel a little worse than I did yesterday. I, I've had a pounding headache, um, presumably caused by you know a sinus infection, and I'm wondering if maybe I had a cold and it's converted into a sinus infection, and like. You know, my vo my throat isn't sore, my voice isn't scratchy, although I think my voice sounds a little off. Um, but it's just made me feel miserable, like totally miserable. And uh, I haven't recorded anything, but I've been taking today, you know, as, as a catch-up day to catch up on vlogs. You can see we've got Steve with the princess thing in the background there. I know you guys enjoyed watching that. It's not even out yet, but I know you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. But it has been cold, and I will have to go out into it uh, at least one time. Um, Mom is making dinner tonight. Because Mal and I have both been sick, um, Mal's been sicker than I have been lately, so I've been the one taking care of her, doing all the meals, and trying to take, you know, just generally take care of the apartment. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling crappy as well, so uh, Mom said that she would make something for tonight and that uh, Mal and I could go over there, but um, she's not home yet. I think she has a club or something tonight, which is why that she why she's not back yet, so I might have to wait a little bit. Um, but also we ordered something, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, it, it arrived at my parents' house, so we're going to go pick it up. Um, some movies. And I'll show you exactly what we ordered when we get over there. One of them I've seen, one of them I've been excited to see, and the other one I know is a classic, although they're all classics. So uh, I'll get a chance to show you guys what we ordered, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance very soon to watch them. It looks so good! Especially since we've pretty much lived off of pizza and a frozen lasagna over the past few days. That was amazing! Oh my goodness, actually you can't tell because it's an empty plate. But I, I ate it, and then I filled it up again, and then I ate it again. Thank you, because that was really, really good. You we haven't that had that much? Yeah, I had two plates full. Wow. You impressed? Yes. You should be, with my ability to consume food. Um, now, I wanted to show you guys what we got. This, ugh. it's a triple feature. It's actually a pretty good deal. It's uh, Blu-ray, and it's three movies. And they're all Kubrick movies. 2001, Clockwork Orange, and Shining. Of the three, I've only ever seen 2001. I saw it, I think, freshman year of college. It's one of those things I'd always seen on TV in bits and pieces here and there, but I actually saw it um, in college and, you know, the whole thing. Uh, when I was like freshman or sophomore or something, and uh, it was good, and I want to see that again. But Mal and I were curious about uh, Clockwork Orange, another one that they'd always talked about in college being, you know, classic, being amazing, and I've never seen it. I've also never seen The Shining, although, you know, The Shining is dripped deep into popular culture, so I'm familiar with the concept. So, all three of these films for 10 bucks, 11 bucks on Amazon, not bad, and I'm looking forward to watching all of them. And there we go. We have been, you know, putting the movies in a row, but we've kind of run out of room, so now they're starting to stack up here. Um, actually, every time that we've been over to my parents' house since we've got that TV set up, my mom has said how much they've enjoyed the TV. You know, every time we go over there, they're like, we really like this TV. You know, thank you for getting us this TV and forcing us to use, you know, the new technology. They said we didn't even know how much we liked it. My mom actually told me that uh, she hasn't been able to, like, read the Channel 2. I don't know what it is for you guys in other countries or other states or whatever, but 
the, the TV Guide channel where it shows you all the stuff that's playing. If you have digital cable, then you guys probably have like something that tells you that all the time. But for everyone else, we have to go to channel two and like watch it scroll up. Mom said she hasn't even been able to read that in like a year or two because I guess her eyes are bad. And also the TV was crap. So now she said she's been able to read that on the new TV and she's really excited about it. Um, but I'm also excited to watch these movies. And the thing is, because of this New Year's resolution and the fact that we have been watching movies, I think we're actually going to watch these movies. Even movies that you guys have sent should be able to uh, actually have the time to sit down and watch them. We get sent a lot of video games which get added to the collection and then you can see a list of them online. And that's really nice, but the fact of the matter is we get sent far too many video games to ever be able to realistically play them. But we do like to watch movies and movies don't take as long to watch as a video game takes to play, at least most of the time. So we should be able to watch movies that you guys send because there's been a few movies that you guys have sent us that uh, we do plan on watching. So we're going to get around to watching a lot more stuff this year. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, fingers crossed that Mal and I continue to get better and feel even better tomorrow. And uh, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? For all I know, there could have been razor blades lying everywhere. I'm like, I couldn't have had a sub go into that. Well. There weren't razor blades everywhere. <laughs> and now it sounds like your classroom is the safest place on earth.